One thing I need to make clear that uh, I keep forgetting to put in my videos. Uh, if we take a cylinder 3D here, drag it on my canvas, go into edit mode, make a poly mesh 3D. And uh, we have this as just an object. We go to geometry and we go to dynamesh and we dynamesh this and you're going to see, oh, well, I don't want faceted edges. I want them to be nice and smooth. So I'm going to undo that and we're going to go over here to our crease. We're going to do a crease with a tolerance of 45. That'll crease these top and bottom edges here. So now I can go into my dynamic, let's turn polyframe off, we can turn dynamic on, and that'll give me nice smooth edges. We've given a dynamic, dynamic preview of two subdivisions. So I can say, you know what, I like that, it's nice and smooth. Let's go ahead and apply those subdivisions. So now we have real subdivisions. We can go lowest, mediumest, highest. And then it's like, you know what, instead of box modeling a bunch of stuff, I just want to go through and start trimming this shape into what I need. So if you go in here and you hold down control shift and you select trim curve and you go into polyframe and it's like, oh, you're not allowed to do a lot of things when you have subdivision history. So I'm going to delete lower and then now it'll let me. Now, if you wanted to, you could say before you deleted lower and you have subdivision history, you say, you know what? I like this nice and smooth. I'm going to turn this into a Dynamesh. So you go down here and you say Dynamesh and it's going to ask you, it has multiple subdivision levels. Do you want to freeze subdivision level before entering Dynamesh mode? Essentially what you can do is underneath here you see free subdivision levels. We're going to get in this in later videos, but generally speaking for Dynamesh, you're probably using it as like a base mesh creation. You're not using it and wanting to project detail back like from a lowest subdivision level. So in this case, when I'm going from a subdivision history object to Dynamesh, I don't click always yes, I always click no. I'm going to say no, and I actually honestly wish there was an always no option. So now I have this object here, it's dynameshed, and we didn't have to go through and do the freeze transformation stuff. So whenever that pops up, I would say 99% of the time hit no, and now you're free to just trim this thing up however you'd like.